Is Al Horford the most underappreciated star of his generation? While superstars like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Luka Doncic, and Kyrie Irving capture most of the media attention in the finals, other players who star in their roles don't get the recognition they deserve. In the case of the Boston Celtics veteran big man Al Horford has never received the praise he's rightfully earned. Even Derek White, Drew Holiday, and Kristaps Porzingis seem to get more praise than the Dominican-born big man. It's totally unjust. So in this video, we're going to explain why Big Al Horford isn't just a valuable glue piece, but instead a star-level role player worthy of a Hall of Fame induction after he retires. Don't believe us? Well, let's just take a look at his career. Horford's dominance predates the NBA. At the University of Florida, he was an absolute force to be reckoned with, leading the Gators to consecutive NCAA championships in 2006 and 2007. The Gators team that Horford played for was one of the best college teams in recent memory. Alongside Joachim Noah, the Gators had a historically imposing front court that straight up overpowered teams. But what was particularly unique about the Noah Horford tandem was their unselfishness and high basketball IQ that made them both savvy passers from the low post. While Joachim Noah was the more fiery and unpredictable personality of the two, Horford served as the quiet, stoic, and imposing beast the dependable leader of the bunch. For that reason, the Atlanta Hawks drafted him third overall and immediately inserted him into the team's starting lineup. In his rookie year, Horford almost averaged a double-double and finished second in Rookie of the Year voting behind only Kevin Durant. As he continued to improve, so did the Hawks. While Horford wasn't the biggest center in the league, measuring in at 6'9 and 240 pounds, he brought great mobility, athleticism, and elite IQ that allowed him to star in his role. In 2014-15, Horford led the Hawks to a 60-win season, the best in the entire NBA. Though he wasn't the leading scorer, you could make an argument that he was the most unique and valuable piece on the team. By the time his contract expired in 2016, Horford respectfully helped lead the Hawks to the playoffs in eight of nine seasons, while making four All-Star appearances along the way. During his nine seasons in Atlanta, they made the playoffs eight times, reaching the Eastern Conference Finals in 2015. In 2016, after reaching free agency for the first time, Horford took his talents to Boston, seeking a championship alongside Isaiah Thomas and a young Celtic squad who he bounced from the playoffs in the previous season. Lo and behold, Horford's impact on the Celtics culture was immediate. He instantly gave his new team stability and confidence. If you ask any player that's played with Horford, they'll tell you that he's just an amazing player to play with. He's the kind of dude that does all the small things on the court that make his teammates look better. He never needs to be the leading scorer or take the big shots, and his teammates are typically the beneficiaries. When he joined the Celtics, that beneficiary was Isaiah Thomas, who at 5'8 became a lethal scorer with the support of Horford. He, alongside a group of defensive-minded young players, helped mask Thomas's defensive deficiencies and created ample space for him to thrive on offense. As mentioned, what makes Horford unique as a player is his strong understanding of movement and spacing on the basketball court. Besides playing stellar defense both inside and on the perimeter, Horford had a knockdown jumper from mid-range and was one of, if not the best, screen setters and passers amongst NBA centers during his prime. As soon as Horford joined Boston, they became one of the top teams in the league, reaching the Eastern Conference Finals in 2017 and 2018. One of the biggest changes that Horford made to his game was extending his shooting range beyond the three-point line, which allowed him to remain a star player as the game evolved to become more perimeter-centric. To illustrate this massive change in playing style, let's look at some numbers. During Horford's first eight seasons of his career in Atlanta, he made a total of 21 three-point shots. Then, during his three first seasons in Boston, he knocked down a total of 256 threes and at elite accuracy to boot. His best shooting season of the three was in 2017-18 when he drained 97 three balls and about 43% accuracy, making him one of the best shooters in the entire league. While the Celtics didn't manage to win a title during these three seasons, Horford definitely wasn't to blame. In fact, each and every season, his numbers improved immensely come playoff time across the board. After his three years in Boston, he left to Philadelphia in free agency before getting shipped off to the Oklahoma City Thunder but the Celtics missed him greatly. 
So when the opportunity arose, they made a trade to bring him back to the roster, where he once again fit in seamlessly. Horford's return to Boston coincided with the team's resurgence as a championship contender. His veteran presence and on-court leadership were instrumental in guiding Tatum and Brown to new heights as league stars. He once again proved himself as the steadying force for a team brimming with young talent. As mentioned, numbers don't tell the whole story with Horford. He doesn't need to be the leading scorer to have a profound impact on the game. His leadership goes beyond statistics, impacting a winning culture through his work ethic, communication, and ability to elevate those around him. Veterans praise his film study habits and basketball knowledge, while younger teammates credit him with helping them understand the nuances of the game and adapting to play alongside many different stars in different systems. The dude shows up without an ego and doesn't need fans and media to validate his contributions. A perfect example is how he transitioned from a starter to a sixth man following the arrival of Kristaps Porzingis this season. Many players would have sulked and perceived the coaching and management decision as an insult, but not Big Al. All he cares about is making a positive impact and winning at the highest level. Then in the playoffs, when Porzingis went down with an injury, Horford effortlessly stepped back into the starting lineup, and the Celtics didn't miss a beat. Does any other team in the league have a bench player capable of stepping in for a star like Porzingis without the team faltering at all? Definitely not. Yet Horford wasn't even a nominee for the Sixth Man of the Year award this season. It's hard to understand why the league doesn't give this guy the credit he deserves. He just makes a positive impact and contributes to winning everywhere he goes with his professional approach as the game has to offer. The accolades speak for themselves. Two-time NCAA national champion, five-time All-Star, former All-Defensive team member, but the true measure of Horford's impact has little to do with his individual achievements. Durability and consistency are often overlooked aspects of a player's value. Horford has played in almost 1,100 games throughout his career, as well as over 180 playoff games with multiple organizations. Throughout his entire 17-season NBA career, he's failed to make the playoffs just twice. Horford's ability to not only remain healthy, but continue to stay in peak physical condition is a remarkable feat for a player entering his 17th season in 2024. Throughout all those years, Horford has never missed more than 15 games in any season. It's crazy that this guy doesn't get more media attention. He's a freaking legend. Even more impressive is his ability to adapt his game as he ages. He's embraced the three-point revolution, transforming himself into a legitimate floor spacer. His willingness to come off the bench demonstrates his selflessness and commitment to winning. Horford's longevity and adaptability are qualities every championship team needs. While he's never won a championship, he's made it to the conference finals six times in his career, and he's playing in the finals for his second time. Throughout his career, he's accumulated an impressive winning percentage of almost 62%, which is proof of his dominance considering he's been moved around the league and spent more than half of his career with the Atlanta Hawks. For comparison, that's a higher career winning percentage than superstars including Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard, Carmelo Anthony, Anthony Davis, Dwayne Wade, or Jimmy Butler. Fascinating. While flashier names grab the headlines, Al Horford remains the steady heartbeat of winning teams and is living proof of the often overlooked qualities that contribute to championship aspirations. He may not be the loudest player on the court, but his impact is undeniable. If Horford manages to win a championship with the Celtics this season, it'd be the cherry on top of one of the most underrated careers of any NBA star in history. And no player would be more deserving of a ring. But we want to know what you guys think. How good is Al Horford actually? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports news and insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.